In this section, we'll get started with setting up our coding environment. Do make sure that you have downloaded the course resources so that you can follow along on your own computer. After downloading the course materials, unzip the folder, and in there you'll see the following. Firstly, the notes folder, which contains all the notes for this course. The notes are saved in two different file formats. Firstly, in the HTML file format, and you can open up files with this extension using your web browser. The notes are also saved in what is called a R markdown format. These are files ending with the extension .rmd. We will talk about this later in the following slides. The next folder you'll see is also the slides folder. And in this contains the slides for this course in PDF format. You will also see a data folder, which contains the example data that we will use in these lectures and a clean data folder, which is a folder we will export our completed figures and graphs to. Finally, you will also see this file. It is called a RStudio project file named course.rproj or rproject. Opening this file boots up RStudio. Follow along with me on your computer. First, open up the course.rproject file, and this is what you will see. This is RStudio, and the first thing you'll notice is the console tab. This is our R console where we have real-time interaction with R in the form of inputs and outputs. So for example, we can type 1 plus 1 as an input, press enter, and you'll see the output of 2. Note that the number here in square brackets represents the line number of the output. The R console is all you would see if you ran R without R Studio. Try doing some calculations in your R console. For example, 3 times 4, you get 12. Now, let's try creating a new R script. You can head on over to this symbol and create a new R script. You will notice that there's a new window here, the script editor. Now, instead of typing code within the console, you can type the code within the script and click on run. What you'll notice is that the code within the script is sent over to run within the console. So the script does not contain any output, it only contains input. Instead of clicking on run, you can also type command enter on a Mac or control enter on Windows. You see here that the script is sent over again. Another thing to note is commenting on your code. Any text that is written after a hash is ignored by the console. Commenting on your code is very important because it allows you to explain why you have written that particular code and also provide some context. To recap, the RStudio client includes the console where you have the command line input and output, the script editor where you can view and edit files that contain code. Note that once you close the RStudio client, you lose all you have in the console. So it is considered best practice to work within scripts, to edit your code there, to save the script and to even share it with others. Other than these two panels, on the top right, you have the environment panel. You also have a tab for the history of code that you have sent to the console. And finally, in the bottom right, you have a panel for the file explorer, plots for graphical outputs. You have a packages tab help and documentation as well as the viewer.